Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen X. And in today's episode, chums, I'm going to show you guys how to build yourselves a portal base. So first, we need to actually find ourselves a portal. Now, if you come up into the station and you see these sort of like little cuboid things laying about, if you pick them up, sometimes they will give you navigational data. Sometimes even these little flat, flat disks will give you navigational data, but that one wants to give me nothing. And once you've got your navigational data, you want to go and see this cartographer guy over here and exchange your navigational data for maps. So yeah, exchange for maps. You can also buy them with nanites. But what you're after is an alien monolithy type 1. So one of this one's down here. And you're hoping to find yourselves an alien monolith. So I'm just going to grab five. Usually, if you get four, that's probably about good enough, but I'm just going that one extra. Heck yes. Right, okay. Next, I'm going to fly out in my spaceship. Now, it does help to have yourself an economy scanner inbuilt inside of said spaceship because we will be looking for a trading post at some point in this video. Where is my scanner doohickey? Is it in my technology slot? Yes, there's the economy scanner right there. Awesome. So let's go and jump into my ship and let's fly on out. We don't need to worry about the economy scanner just yet. Right now, we need to find ourselves a monolith. Awesome! Let's go! Actually, drums, strike that and reverse that a little bit. We could do with finding ourselves the uh, trading post first because we need to go and get some trinkets to satisfy the monolith once we find the monolith so I'm heading over to ooh, this planet you see there it says activated idiom that one's got terrible freaking storms this planet over here I don't think it's gonna have inhabitants because it's it's freaking hexagonage and uh, yeah there is one other planet in this system so pick your planet well chums pick your planet okay, well. well I'm heading to Dyson X Excellent naming of a planet. I didn't name this. This is completely unmapped. Yeah, that's that's its default name. Awesome. So we're heading there, and it is a scorched planet. Oh, heck yes. And yeah, once I get inside of the atmosphere, that's when I'm going to use my economy scanner, because sometimes if you search outside of the actual uh, confines of the planet's atmosphere, it finds you one on a completely different planet, and you don't want that. Heck no. Now the reason I said choose your planet well is because you, if you are sitting at a portal base here, it's nice for people to emerge on the other side and not get their skin roasted off. You know what I mean? So let's just head on down here and let's um let's uh, let's find ourselves firstly a trading post. So here we go. Oh, pull up, Captain Steve. There we are. Sweet. Right, now we can use the economy scanner. Oh, my days. Look at the sky on this planet. This looks like the cover of a freaking sci-fi magazine. Right, so there we go. We have done our scan. Now we're just going to take a look. Oh, it's over this way. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, 36 minutes, you say. I'm going to be there in three. I'll see you at the trading post, chums, and we're going to get some trinkets. Heck yes, sure. trinkets. At the trading post, you will get visitors flying in in some pretty odd-looking... Oh, that's, that's a very odd-looking ship. Uh, look, look what I managed to park there. That, that's that's just mental. Right, OK, so if you go over and you talk to one of these little chappies... Hello there, little chappy. Oh, look at his sweet dead eyes no my they're not really sweet that's freaking terrifying can you put them away or just look a different direction or something Did, oh my days freaking heck okay right well we're gonna buy stuff from this life form yeah i don't know where i trust him you heard of that urban legend of the black eyed kids well if you haven't don't google it you won't be able to sleep right so i want to buy one of these thank you i'll have one of those thank you my friend and I'd also have one of those. These are the trinkets that you need to give to the uh, monolith. So that it will ask for Gek relics or Gek nib if you're in a Gek system. So there we are. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, you've served your purpose. Lovely jubbly. You can take those dead black eyes of yours and go somewhere where I'm not. Right, OK. So now I can use those maps that I bought. And we're hoping to find an alien monolith. So here we are. Where, where is my map? There we go. So plot a route is just a hold down square. There we go. And kaboom. Go on. Be an alien monolith. Be correct first time. You know you want to be. Alien monolith detected. Heck yes, the luck of Captain Steve is on an upturn. Heck yes, about frickin' time. Yeah, you know, sometimes it can take three or four time, turns with that jump, so that's why I say get four. And normally after a fourth, when you try to do a fifth, it would say nothing found. So if you're not lucky to find a monolith, you may have to um, 
go to some of the sites that it has been pointed out, find some more navigational data and start all over again. Right pain in the neck. What I would say though, once you've landed at the trading post, you've got out of your ship and into your ship. Maybe do another save just to make sure you've definitely got a save, but then just reload and, um, and try again with your cartography maps until you do find a monolith. And hopefully you'll be lucky. Sometimes flying around to another point on a planet or to a completely different planet and then searching again with your four maps might work out better for you. So just have a play with that sort of shenanigans. But once you've located a monolith, here we go. We can set down here. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. I have landed. And then, yeah, we've got a mo Where the fudge is the monolith gone? There it is. Yeah. Now you can touch all these stones and learn freaking words, which I have learnt all the words to be freaking learned. So there we go, nothing new. Yeah, that's that's story of my life. Okay, so here we go. Let's go over here, and then when you go to the monolith, rather than answering the question or doing the puzzle or that all that sort of jargon, you've got oh, normally you get something else here. Well, let's let's just hit that. Yeah, and. Uh, I think I can interact with it a second time now, chums. So let's interact with it a second time. And here we go. Oh, I learned to, I got a new thing there. I can say locate portal. One gek relic. So I'm going to hand that in. Sweet. And that's going to find me a new portal. Awesome. Excellente. So now over there is a portal. Nine hours away. So I'm going to fly over there. And I'm going to hit that up. And yeah, that, that's where I can now put down a base marker. But there's a few rules about building bases by portals. Heck yes, there's something to be observed. But I'd let you know once I get there. I'll see you when I get there. Heck okay, yes. Okay, right. Well, I've touched down nice and pretty. Awesome landing there, Captain Steve, if I do say so myself. Heck yes. But you are probably thinking, hold on, Captain Steve. I find portals a completely other way. Yep, you can find portals another way. The way that you can do that is you can call in your freighter and after you've called in your freighter, if you've got the right freighter tech installed, you can actually call down a um, exocraft, can't you? So yeah, you can put down an exocraft that's got a scanner in. I think the only one of mine that's got a scanner in is this little doohickey. So we'll stick him down there, the nomad. And when you're in the nomad, if you've got the scanner installed, like I think I do, yep, I've got a load of scanners in there. So yeah, I've already done it in one of my um, my uh, exocrafts. I can hit scan, and I can actually choose alien structure, and that should find me a monolith, if I'm lucky. Just like I did with the maps. So you don't have to use maps, you can use your exocraft chums. Just as a word, word to the wise, and yeah. And also, now with the weekend missions. If you start a weekend mission in a system where you want a portal, the first time, after you go touch the three knowledge stones, it will take you to a portal on a planet in that system you're in. So that's a way to get a portal for freaking free. But you need to put a base computer near to it um, before you actually activate and go through the portal. Because once you're through the portal, you get portal interference and you can't put a base that side of the portal. But when you come back through after doing the mission, then you can put down a base. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, right, so now we've got our portal. What I would say is don't build directly on top of the portal. Because sometimes when people try to use your portal address to come to your planet, if it recognises that there is a base there, sometimes it will say that that portal code is corrupted and it won't let you actually teleport there. Or they will teleport there and they just won't see your portal. I mean your base. And sometimes your portal may sink underneath the ground as well. There's all sorts of weird stuff that happens if you build too close to a portal. You've been freaking warned. Heck yes, don't build too close to a portal would be my advice. But I'm, I'd imagine a lot of you aren't going to heed that. and You're just going to build right on top of the dang thing anyway. And I have seen some impressive builds that encompass a portal. I've seen a giant pyramid with a portal in before and it worked fine. So sometimes there isn't an exact rule. But just, just a word to the wise, I have seen them go horribly wrong in my time as well. I've seen them go amazingly right and I've seen them go amazingly wrong. So yeah. That's that's pretty much that. So what I would suggest at this stage is to use your anal oh fudge, I've got the wrong freaking multi-tool. Okay. So yep, I need to get my multi-tool that has got my scanner in, Gift of the Ancients. Here we go. And what I'm gonna do is I want to search to see if there's an Oh, there is an electric hotspot right by this. Oh the freaking joys. Yep, and uh, yeah, so I would find myself an electric hotspot quite close to this portal and I build there. 
And then basically I have discovered my electromagnetic hotspot. It's not the best hotspot in the world, but it's not too far from where I want to be. So and now I'm just going to put down a base computer. So a base computer is going to cost me, what is 50 chromatic metal or something? 30! 30 chromatic metal, frickin' bonus! Right, so here we go. Let's uh, claim this base. Lovely jubbly. And I didn't put it exactly where the hotspot was, mainly because that's where I want to put my power sources. So here we go. And yep, base been claimed. And you can see there it's only a stone's throw away from the actual portal. And when it zooms up like this, sometimes you can see other points of interest, but there's there's not much around to be honest. It's fairly desolate. Right, okay. So next I just need to put down a structure or something. I like to put my um, electromagnetic um, power points on one of these. I like to put that in and then situate them on top so it looks like it's purpose built. So that's going to be where I'm going to be putting my electromagnetic hotspots. So yeah, back into the old build menu and hopefully I can put down a battery. Hopefully I've got enough resources for a battery because I like to have a battery in the middle and maybe free electric points going off of it. So here we go, let's go up into here. Uh, where's the power, 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 where are they? There's power. Uh, I'm still not very good in these freaking menus, chums. Uh, here we go, battery, yeah I can do that. And uh, what I've done is I pressed in my left stick and that helped me go into this build mode which is a lot easier for me so I'm going to use that there and I need a couple of these but I need some metal plating which shouldn't be a problem I should be able to craft some metal plating but yeah uh, metal plating where are they there you are so I need two four five I need six if I want to build three of them if my maths is correct awesome right and back up and I'm just gonna place one at sort of like the three o'clock position three o'clock there you go and I'm gonna put one at the nine o'clock and I'm gonna put one at the twelve o'clock there we go and that's gonna be my power source as and then all I want to do is hook up a wire going from there to there and from there to there and there to there and now I can build whatever base I want and hook up the power to it and everything is awesome. So I'm going to reconvene with you once I've built my little base here. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the premise. And after you've actually built your base, you upload the dang thing. Give it a name, give it a photo so people can see what it is. I like to try and build a base that's going to be fairly useful for visitors if I'm hoping visitors come here. Now this system, chums, is a freaking awesome system for multi-tool uh, bits and bobs like modules. Hence why if I go into my discoveries page discoveries page there we are I have called this system NMSA PVP modules so yeah I need to name these two planets something and this one but yeah it's an awesome awesome system I put up a screenshot actually let's ex ex execute a mondo mr. Uh, hold on let's uh, let's press the old button here we go execute a mondo exo execute yeah, so this is in the Euclid system, and I'm in normal mode, and these modules are available up in the station, and there's the portal coordinates for the actual station. Heck yes! So there we go, that's how to build a portal base, and also how to get yourself some decent multi-tool modules in this system. But yeah, I will now cut to um, the after. The after of me building. So yeah, through the power of editing, you will see my new base. So I'll see you guys later, and I'm, it's going to play out some music while it does like an aerial tour of my base. That's the idea anyway. So you guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye all. Goodbye. Okay, jumps. Well, here is my actual base itself. So there's the power sources that you saw me lay down. And I've built myself a robot Scopier. Heck yeah. So you may have seen this featured in the Nexus. This is like Mark II. I've kind of made it so you can see all the inner gubbins of the actual poisonous sting. And yeah, I think I've improved on it for my old featured Nexus area. But there we go. I got myself a little robot scorpion. And inside here, yep, we've got, um, it's fully functional, so you've got like um, a galactic trade terminal in there, you've got some carbon, you've got a nutrient processor, a large refiner. Up here you've got some, oh, what is it, Mordite, and uh, some globy things, whatever they are, Gravitino balls, that's the thing. Yeah, and then through here we've got ourselves a nice little seating area, a couple of things you can harvest, and a teleporter, and yeah, there's some trophies as well. But you can also you can head through the claws, you can come out through the claw end if you want. 
But there we go. That's it. That's my robot scorpion base. And that is right by the portal, which is just over yonder hill. You can just sort of see it peeking over there. And I've put down a, um, a down little beacon over there, a white beacon. So the actual code in the bottom left hand corner of the screen is how you can reach this system. Now for whatever reason it, it gives a different code when I'm up in the station which is the code that I gave earlier. So try either of the two codes if that fails but up there you can find a module vendor that sells some awesome multi-tool modules. Heck yes. Oh and the, the actual Galactic Trade Terminal at the moment sells a lot of decent stuff for farming. But there we go. Done. Awesome. See you soon. Bye-bye. There's multiple ways to support my channel. Patreon being one. Thank you, Patreons. And I also have YouTube membership. Thank you, YouTube memberships. Yep, there's multiple tiers there for everyone. Be sure to check both out if you're thinking of supporting me that way. Hitting a like or a subscribe or leaving a comment. I love reading comments. There's another way to support the channel. Or there's merch if you want to find a dandy pair of socks or a t-shirt. Head on over to Teespring. Or just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and watch a little more. Hit join or sub. Heck yes. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.